Mullen stock climbed to a high of $2.77 on Friday, which is 16% above its Thursday's closing price. Mullen stock is recovering from a report released on Monday by Hindenburg Research. Hindenburg's report claims that Mullen is involved in several devious practices such as marketing China-backed electric vehicles, while falsifying claims of developing a solid-state battery. Hindenburg even says Mullen's solid-state battery dreams are false. To be specific, Hindenburg claims to have contacted Electric Vehicle Grid CEO, Tom Gage, who refuted Mullen's battery test results. After all of that, why exactly is Mullen stock up? The answer to that is BitNile. BitNile CEO, Milton Todd Alt, released a video of Gage actually agreeing to support Mullen's solid-state battery. Additionally, Alt released another video showing that BitNile had invested in Mullen through subsidiaries, and still remains invested. Mullen reported that its solid-state batteries have the potential to deliver 600-plus miles of range. Gage backed up these claims by saying, the 600-mile number is based upon how big the car, battery, and drivetrain is. It is quite possible that Mullen can do it. Gage also confirmed Mullen's battery capacity is correct. Gage states Hindenburg may have misquoted him. Gage is also open to testing more of Mullen's batteries in the future. As a result, Mullen's stock recovered more than 5%. That's what's been happening this week in the world of Mullen stock news today. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click the subscribe button at the bottom right and subscribe to Charging Investments right now, so that next week you'll get the inside scoop on the latest developments to keep you and your business on the leading edge of Mullen stock news today. If you enjoyed this edition of Mullen stock news today, leave a comment and please hit the like or share button, we'd really appreciate it. Are you still watching and want more? Check out last week's Mullen stock news today by checking out our Mullen playlist.